Hi, it's Caitlin and I'm here today with new polishes from Cuticula. It's always a good month when Cuticula launches a new collection. It's been a few and for June we have the Skyscape collection which is absolutely gorgeous. There will also be a duo with Cuticula and Red Eyed Lacquer which is another brand that I love and it's super cute. The Skyscape collection will be launching on the Cuticula website on June 23rd at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time and it will be removed from the shop on June 30th, but that doesn't mean it's gone forever. It's just up for pre-order initially and then it will be back in the shop at a later date. I think that's everything you need to know, so let's get into the nail polish. Let's begin with Ethereal. So this polish is a clover green base with pink to gold to green large particle shifting shimmer and violet gold to green shifting shimmer. So we've got two different kinds of shifts happening and it's all happening in this beautiful green base. So this one is definitely sheer on that first coat, but it does build up and I really like the coverage of this in two coats. You could obviously take it to a third if you wanted, but I just really liked it in two, so I left it there. And as you can see, there's a ton of shimmer and I'm using the Cuticula Limitless Top Coat, which is quick drying. It's just my favorite top coat. And this adds a beautiful glossy finish. It also just dries ridiculously fast and allows my nail polish to last for like honestly over a week. I can't recommend this top coat enough. So here's the polish in two coats plus top coat. You can hopefully already see just how shifty it is, but you are going to see just truly how shifty this one is. So I love the deeper kind of green you get at the more extreme angles. It complements the base really beautifully. And of course the larger particle shimmer just adds a really beautiful sparkle in the sunlight which um, you're going to see in a second here it just is a really pretty effect this is definitely ethereal very soft really pretty I love the green and the pink together it's just beautiful next up is overcast and overcast is described as a periwinkle base with violet gold green shifting shimmer and this is also similar in particle size to what we saw in ethereal and it's also a super simu similar formulation where it is on the sheer side but it will build up really nicely and this one you can't really tell yet but it really reminds me of cinderella's dress in the disney film for whatever reason um it's just the shade of periwinkle or blue, I don't know, but it's just so pretty and I really, really like this one. I really like the formula as well on these shimmers. They build up really easily and nicely and all of them, in my opinion, look really good in two coats, but I will build this one up in three so you can see how much more opaque it gets on that third coat for anyone who doesn't like visible nail line at all. Though there is a lot of shimmer in these polishes so it kind of distracts from the nail line even at two coats but anyway that's enough about that <laughs> these do dry down quite glossy but i will still recommend a top coat for added shine and longevity and here you can see just how pretty that shimmer is already i think it complements the base perfectly and i love the gold and green shift you get at the more extreme angles here. I think it's just really elegant and it's very visible on the nail. I really enjoyed having this polish on my fingers. It was really fun to catch it in different lighting and see those color shifts in real time. So as you can see, it's kind of twinkly in the sun. Even though there's no hollow, it's just an effect of the larger shimmer particle. It catches the light really nicely. Moving along, we have Sunbeam. 
and this one is a bright apricot base with orange to gold to green shifting shimmer and large particle orange to red to gold shifting shimmer and this one immediately makes me think of sunbeam nails on instagram who is just one of the sweetest people so if you're not following addy you should definitely do it at sunbeam nails on instagram she's the best and this polish is also the best it's super pretty um as you can see on that first coat it's sheer but when you add that second coat it just adds this new layer of dimension and color which is absolutely beautiful I love the combination of the smaller and larger particle shimmer. I just think it adds dimension and just creates a really nice effect. So this one is like a ethereal orange creamsicle popsicle. That's kind of what it made me think of. I love the shifts in this one as you're going to see. And again, love the formula easy to apply, easy to remove, no staining, and who doesn't love orange? I am turning into an orange nail polish lover. So as you can see, that yellow, golden, red shimmer is really working hard for us in this nail polish. It just looks so pretty, and you get that extreme angle green that I love so much. It looks beautiful out of direct lighting on my skin tone. It's just a really pretty soft orange and then when you get it into the light you can really see those other color shifts so this one is just unique and beautiful and i love it and here we have vapor this one is a cerulean blue base with strong blue to violet shifting shimmer and silver holographic flakes so this is one of those polishes that is so so glowy um you can probably already see just how glowy this one is it's it's quite beautiful and it has a fantastic formula again i love the addition of the hollow flakes in this one i always love to see hollow flakes um Unfortunately, I didn't have any sun, so you're not going to see it in the sun, but that just is a really unfortunate thing that has been happening so far this year, this spring, and it's not summer yet, but there has just not been any sun where I live, really. There's been a few days, but unfortunately, there were wildfires, wild, wildfires, is that it? Yeah, forest fires, and the smoke from that, um obscured any of the sun that was trying to shine through so climate change is real um vapor as you can see built up really nicely in three coats and the top coat i would definitely recommend it to bring out the shine in this one and here's what i'm talking about it's just like the glowiest blue i love how the shimmer is almost the same color as the base it just creates gorgeous depth and a lit from within kind of look to it no matter which lighting it's in it's just truly truly beautiful and i really can't stop gushing about how pretty this polish is And here we have something kind of totally different in the collection. We have Starfall, which is a black base with yellow to gold shifting glass flakes, blue to purple shifting glass flakes, and silver holographic flakes. So this one has a gorgeous formula. I really like it. Um, it builds up really, really nicely. So on the first coat, you can tell it's obviously not at its maximum potential but it easily builds up and every time you add a coat of polish it just adds more flakes and it deepens that base which allows the flakes to really pop. So I am going to recommend three thin coats for this one just to get it to its maximum gorgeousness and 
there's a great variety of flakes in here as you see they build up really easily they don't have any trouble getting onto the brush it's not like a glitter that sometimes settles so this one I'm just completely obsessed with it um, I love black nail polishes at the best of times but this one is truly stunning and you definitely want a glossy top coat just to seal everything in it dries really glossy and the flakes don't really have any texture surprisingly but just going to still encourage you to use top coat and hopefully you can see what I mean about the dimension in this polish it does look like I don't know some sort of meteor debris in the sky it's just a really beautiful black base I love how it's sort of a jelly base and those flakes show up very easily and prominently on the nail And next up we have Fireflies, which is described as a red wine base with large particle orange to red to gold shifting shimmer. And this one's really interesting because it does look very whiny in the bottle, but then it sort of goes onto your nail like a pink, but it does build up beautifully. And again, fantastic formula. It's fluid, but it doesn't run on the nail, which I always appreciate and it builds up really really easily so depending on how you like it you could leave it in two and you would definitely get more of a pink look but I think it's best when you build it up in three and I have yet to see a firefly this year though this is usually the time of year I would see them I'm just not thinking it's been warm enough where I live but I'm hoping to see some fireflies because that is honestly one of the greatest, most beautiful things in nature when you see fireflies at night. It's just a magical experience. So this one does dry a little bit dull. I will definitely recommend top coat. And as you can see, it is so pretty when you apply that top coat. The flakes from the shimmer just glow really beautifully through the base. Everything comes together really beautifully and... I think this is a really fun polish. It's just really, really nice. As you can see, it definitely looks deeper when you're out of the direct lighting. That's just sort of how jellies work and the way the light moves through them. And I love how those little tiny flakes have green at extreme angles. And now we're moving into the Cuticula Red Eyed Lacquer Duo, which is inspired by their love of collecting Starbucks cups. So the cuticula is called I Want More and it's a violet base with orange to red to gold to green shifting shimmer and large particle orange to red to gold shifting shimmer. So this has a fantastic formula. It's also just really, really pretty. It's on the thin side, but that works to the benefit of this polish. It allows the shimmer to really shine through. So I will recommend three coats, but you can probably already see how glowy this polish is even on two coats. At the third coat, it just kind of brings everything together. And I love, once again, that combination of a finer shimmer particle and a larger shimmer particle. It just adds dimension to the polish and interest. And this one does dry down a tiny bit on the dull side, so you will want glossy top coat to bring out the shine and make that shimmer just pop as much as possible. And as you can see, that shimmer is just super strong and glowy. It's gorgeous no matter what lighting you catch it in. I really like the shade of... What did she call it? She called it a violet base. So it definitely to me is leaning a little bit more pink towards like an orchid shade, but whatever you call it, it's really pretty. And last but not least, we have Wouldn't You Think My Collection's Complete? 
and this one is from Red Eye Blacker, and it's described as a deep navy base with peachy to pink shifting shimmer and silver holographic flakes. So this formula is fantastic. I have a few Red Eye Blacker polishes in my collection, and I love all of them. Bianca is just great at making nail polish, and once again, has knocked it out of the park. And I feel like I'm sensing a bit of a Little Mermaid theme in addition to this being about their love of Starbucks. Obviously, the names of the polishes are a nod to that. And I'm definitely seeing the Little Mermaid inspiration in these polishes. So I did build this one up in three coats. I think it just looks best in three. It dries super, super glossy, which is a nice pleasant surprise, but I will still recommend top coat to get maximum juicy glossiness and here you can see it in three coats plus top coat it is so pretty this one also packed a punch with the shimmer i wasn't expecting the green that i saw because the description doesn't mention green but at extreme angles you definitely get green there's just a lot going on in this polish but it all comes together so well i love the formula super juicy and glossy and i'm very excited to wear this one again i think it is absolutely stunning and if you want to pick up these polishes they are only available as a set and for a limited time so grab them while you can we saw lots of shifts in those polishes and I do love everything that I swatched. However, my top two picks from the Skyscapes collection are Overcast. It just has a ton of shifts in it and it really reminds me of Cinderella's dress. Um, I'm a sucker for blues like that and this one is very shifty and it has a wonderful formula. And because I love my black nail polishes, I love Starfall. It's just a really beautiful combination of flakes it has a fantastic formula again and it's really 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 pretty so please let me know in the comments if you are excited about these polishes if you're planning on picking anything up and um, i guess that's it for me so have a great day wherever you are and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye